In this video, I'll show you how to upload a file in OneDrive using Microsoft Copilot Studio while building an agent. Now, the use case for this is, take for example, if you are a HR management system, so you do a lot of recruiting and you provide a lot of HR based services related to recruitment, consulting, and also uh, contracting opportunity for an individual. Now you have got a in an agent which basically collects resume from the end user and then it will uh, ask user to upload the resume in whatever format they have like a word document or a pdf document and then you just capture those information and then store it in your repository so that if any opportunity comes up in the future you can contact those particular users now there's no authentication involved in this agent anyone can upload any document and then the internal backend system will process those information. Now, as you see over here in the screenshot, we will be using something called as a OneDrive for Business connector so that we can use that connector to store the file in OneDrive. So let's go ahead and start building those agent. So I'm in copilstudio.preview.microsoft.com. So I have an option to click on create and then create a new agent, but I've already created a new agent named as resume collection agent. Now, this agent does not have anything configured, no description, no instructions, nothing. What I will do is I will first create a topic. Now, the goal is to store the document in your OneDrive. So let's first navigate to the OneDrive. Now, this is my OneDrive. Now, here in OneDrive, I have this My Files. I have various folders created over here. I have some files lying around. Now, maybe I'll just go ahead and click on create and create a folder so that I segregate this. So I'll just say resume folder and I'll put, put in some color, click on create and this folder is created. So what I want is any agent uh, request submitting the file. All the files should come over here and then my internal system will process the file from this folder. So what I'll do is I'll first go into the topics and here I can go to add a topic from blank. And from here, I can go ahead and collect those files, right? Now, how do we trigger this? Now, we have multiple options to collect files, right? So if I click on plus over here, I'll say, ask a question. And here I have an identify. I can go ahead and search for file. So, I can ask user to please upload your resume. So I can go ahead and do that. So this is one of the option. Second option is instead of even asking the user, just identify that signal, right? Now, how do you identify a signal that a file has been uploaded? You can go ahead and click on change trigger and you can then find out an activity occurs. So activity includes messages and events and here, if I click on edit, you can track different type of activities. So there's conversation update, there's event, handoff, message, trace, typing, etc. Or you can go ahead and check the condition. Now, what happens when an activity um, takes place? Uh, if you have uploaded a file, then there is an object called system.activity.attachments. Now that will contain some information. So if you upload one file in that array, you will have one file. So system.activity.attachments will have one file. Now, if you upload two or three files in that array, you will get that three files, right? So that means it's an array. So here we can change it to formula and then we can check the, the conditions basically. So I can go ahead, I can type in the builder, I can just make the condition or I can go into formula and then put some value over here. So I can go into the formula and then I can start typing in the formula. Now in the formula, I will first look for system.activity.attachment. So I need to first check whether someone has uploaded any file or not. Now this one, I need to check whether is empty. So is empty. And I want to check the reverse of it, like not is empty so that I can know that for sure that this condition is satisfied. It's, it's not empty. If it's not empty, then only process this particular topic. So not is empty, system.activity.attachments. Now here I will just 
put a message and I'll say thanks for uploading. So we'll first test the trigger and see whether the activity is getting tracked or not. We'll upload some sample file. So let me put up some, say, some sample file. I've uploaded an XLSX file and say thanks for uploading. That means this trigger, this topic has been triggered. Now, yes, so we have successfully uh, created a topic which basically tracks the file upload process. Okay, now I'll just say, okay, thanks for uploading the file. But now this time we are going to upload it in OneDrive. Now you can upload the file in multiple places. In this example, I'll show you how to upload the file in OneDrive. So uploading the file in OneDrive is simple. You go to add a tool and then here uh, you need to find out anything related to OneDrive is available within the basic tool. It's not there. Go to the connector and then from here, if you just type in OneDrive, you should be able to see OneDrive related connectors. Now, if I just typed in OneDrive, I didn't get anything specific to OneDrive. If I just remove the space because OneDrive does not have the space between it, now you can see okay OneDrive. So I have an option to convert the file, copy the file, list files, etc. Uh, so let's see if I have anything to create a file. So this is not sorted properly. So I should be able to see uh, a connector which is basically creating a file. So if you scroll, you will see that there is something called as create a file. You can view the details, but I'll just click on create file. Now here it will establish a connection. Now, if it is not connected, it will ask you to create a new connection. So I'll create a new connection that will connect to the OneDrive. Now, once the connection is created, I should be able to save the document in OneDrive. So let me first, now what we have done is like we have created uh, a connection to OneDrive, but Remember, there is a difference between OneDrive and OneDrive for Business. Now, in this example, we are showing you connect to OneDrive for Business. Okay. Now, this particular interface which has come, it has asked me to connect to OneDrive, but I don't want to connect it to OneDrive. I'll just cancel it off. Now, this is a common mistake we make. Like instead of selecting OneDrive for Business, we use OneDrive. So, first thing, just cancel this off. Go to Add a Tool, and then from here into the connector, just type in Create File. And here you get two options, create file OneDrive for business and OneDrive. So make sure that if you're using it for your organization's uh, activity, store the file in OneDrive for business. So create file. Now here it will establish a connection. Connection is already established. I'll click on submit. Now it has added a node named as create file. Now it will take three inputs. So in the inputs, if I click on this input, it will ask for unique path of the folder. Now in the unique path of the folder, I will go into my OneDrive and I will navigate to the path of resume folder. Like this is the folder where I want all the document to be stored. So I will go into the unique path over here. See the folder over here. It will allow you to select. So it will load the OneDrive for business. You will see the root go inside the root and then here you will see resume folder. So I'll just pick up resume folder. Now, what is the name of the file? Now, remember, like I told you that any file you upload and if it is tracked using the activity trigger, then it is basically stored in an array. So system.activity.attachments is basically a collection. Uh, so it will have multiple items because you can upload multiple files from here, right? So for the file name, what we will do, we'll go into the formula, we'll expand the formula, and we will just type in system.activity.attachments. Now, this is the object which will store the tape in the tabular format, but we would like to get the first item because we are just asking people to upload only the first file, right? Like only one file. Now, you can even also check the count. Like if people have uploaded more than one file, then you can go ahead and uh, ignore the request and say that please only upload one file just by checking the count item. So you can get the count of that particular array and then you can check whether if it is one or not. If it is not one, then just ignore the request. Now, I'm going to take the first item of the attachment 
and if i put a dot i can get the name of the file so dot name and i get the name of the file and click on insert so this is the file name now for the file content similar way click three dots click on formula expand this system dot activity dot attachments take the first item dot the content so we would like to know the content now the content output is of type blob so i'll click on insert now all good we have successfully created a trigger we have created a file uh, i'll click on save so we are using one refer business connector and then it will give you the result in a create file right now i will just go into the message and say thanks for uploading the file and just for example purpose i will say one drive for business now it can also give you some output so if i just click on insert variable if you see this create file it will give you the create file display name it will give you the create file e tag locator id which folder last modified by and you get a whole bunch of information so i can even get the file path i can get the file size so let me pick up the file size now this is how I will get this file size. So this is the file size which you have uploaded. And let me get the file name. So this is the file name which you have uploaded. So go here, create file dot display name. And even I can get the file path. So file path. And I can select create file dot path. So this is how I can extract all the metadata. I'm not going to do for all. Let's click on save and let's go ahead and upload a file. So this is in the greeting. You can say, hey, this is a resume collection agent. Please upload a file. Then you can go ahead over here, click on this attached file and maybe let me upload a resume over here. So this is a Word document. Click on submit. It will go into OneDrive. It will ask you for authentication. You click on allow so that the authentication happens between the agent and the OneDrive for business. And then you should be able to get the information back. Now, if you see, there is an error. The parameter with the name name is required to call the connector, but its value is blank. Now, I've seen this issue happening again and again because I updated it correctly, but then somehow the value gets erased. So just to check back again go to resume upload over here and now if you go to the folder path you will see the folder is correct you will see the first name is correct you see the file content is correct because it is first of system dot activity dot attachments dot content this is first dot system dot activity dot attachments dot name uh, and now if i just refresh it again Click on attachment, resume, I'll upload again, click send. And now, as you see, it has uploaded it successfully. So you just need to give it a try. We haven't made any change in the code. It, it does fail at the start, but now, as you see, it has successfully uploaded. It has given me the file size. It has given me the file name. It has given me the file path as well. Now, let's see the result if this file has been actually uploaded in OneDrive for Business or not. So if I go to resume folder now, I can see that this file has been uploaded. Now, a couple of things to notice when you create these kind of uh, topics resume upload now what has happened is it has uploaded the file it has given you the message and then say i am sorry i'm not sure how to help you with that so in, if such scenario happens then what you need to do is you need to go into your particular topic and end the conversation then and there itself like you have an topic topic management and then you can just say either go to another topic or maybe end the conversation so so that the agent will not start asking questions again and again and 
not give you this response back. So these are the couple of things which you need to remember. And then with all this thing, you will be able to successfully upload this file in OneDrive for Business using Copilot Studio. Thanks for watching.